Hello, welcome back to Monster Train. In today's episode, it is 12.15 p.m. How you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm getting lunch with my friend today, like 1.30, so I was like, ah, I could squeeze in a Monster Train. I'm just gonna open up Monster Train real quick, have a quick test this win, and then we're gonna go get lunch. <laughs> I should also remember to post Monster Train today. It's okay. Honestly, if I'm late, I'm gonna play random today. I'm actually sick of picking clans. I'm just gonna pick random. I hope it gives me Exile Hellhorned. Oh, wow. <laughs> How random. Uh, you know, if, if I, my friend is almost always late to stuff like this, so if I'm like five minutes late, it's not a big deal. Uh, she can wait on me for once. Anyway, I uh, hope you're doing well today. I am fine. I woke up about 15 minutes ago. Probably a little longer than that. I woke up around 11.30. So, you know, I'm fresh. I'm ready. I'm feeling good. I'm high spirits. I've been... I've been feeling better lately. Don't let's get to it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Stygian Exile Awoken, Pushback, Spell Shield, Diligent, Offering Token, Razor Sharp Drain. Uh, today is going to be the day that they're going to throw it back to you. And also that I'm going to win this round. We're going to take Precious Plating to start. I don't care which Tethys we get. I think Conduit is a little better. I, I want to try to have Chillwind be like a mainline plan in the Chillwind run. That's why I've been waiting to play Chillwind. I really want to try a Chillwind based plan. I know Tethys is bad, but I think you can get away with it. I want to play like a triple frostbite floor of some description. I My game plan here, by the way, is definitely just to tank the first two waves. The I, I took the trial, I have precious plating. I'm going to stay with precious plating, play bottom floor, and take the damage. Because I like the money. Sad about the collector, but I wouldn't have gotten it anyway. So this invasion trial did 13 to me, which is not a problem. Put a fresh train steward in. We get... Like... Three rounds, so I'm actually not happy with this one. I think I'm going to die still. That damage happens, I know. Oh, it's chains, never mind. Uh, I should be okay. I thought this was the other guy. I thought it was the guy with Trample, but it's Chains who just has three life steal. And look at that. A little Pathus, a little carry. Ice Tornado's good. Uh, Restoration Detonation, I think, gets cost reduced by Pathus. However, I'm going to pick Steel Enhancer anyway. And I would like to go. I'm gonna go for a Stygian Banner here. I wanna play like a Siren of the Sea. Today. Mm, we have Razor Sharp, so I could just do the exact same run I did yesterday, but with Razor Sharp Edge instead, which might be enough. It also could be called Kalia. I think it's fine. I know I said I learned my lesson, but I, I have Razor Sharp Edge this time, so I think I have learned my lesson, and my lesson is, hey, we got Razor Sharp Edge. I'm gonna go Large Stone. I can reroll this. Yeah, for a multi-strike. I think large stone multi-strike sweeper with a razor sharp edge in the run should be good enough. I just need to put something in front of her and then find a quick. I would really like a really like an animus of speed. We're basically gonna run back yesterday's run. We're gonna look hard for animus of speed, but today we have Cold Kalia, whose effect I don't have to play around as much. It's nice. No quick here. Could use Tethys. I mean, we have 55 HP. I think it is right to play Razor Sharp Edge. I'm gonna use Tethys to tank a hit. Goodbye, Tethys. So long, and also good night, Tethys. I think it is right. So the plan here is gonna be to hold over a Razor Sharp Edge, and then this unit should have enough HP to live. Or we could also, like, spell chain it. We should have enough base HP, though. It should be fine. And I think the plan is going to be to play a lower floor. Flash Freeze here, actually. I don't think I want to take another Ice Tornado. Uh, I think I like... I actually think I like another Steel Enhancer over another Razor Sharp, because a Steel Enhancer offsets the health loss of Razor Sharp by a little bit, which matters. And Animus of Speed. Okay. I think that... This is, if I understand everything that I learned yesterday, this run should be a win, and it should be pretty good. And yesterday's run 
was a loss. And I think I understand the differences. Oh yeah, Vine Grasp for Diligent Sarah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's so good. I kind of want to go Major Refraction though, right? So here's the thing. And I want to make sure we're clear on this. Almost every situation where you're offered this and you get an overflow on a unit, getting a one size unit is busted. However, I could just make the Cold Kaylee a big. And that's cool. I'm going to do that instead. The 30 30 is actually like adding 30 attack is free razor sharp edges for free, which is a lot of value. It's not like a crazy, crazy amount of value, but. I want to try playing two Cold Kalias on separate floors. That's what I want here. I want to try doubling down. Or, alternatively, I can try just supporting Cold Kalia in some way. We'll get him Tethys. You win this. I want to try, like, giving Cold Kalia some form of support. Like, maybe just some healing cards to keep her up, because she has enough HP with quick, she should never get one shot. We'll see. I'm throw Ice Tornado. I'm gonna- we want to chip down Talos as much as we can, because this is a serious amount of damage coming at us. And I don't have healing yet. I'm going to up assume that I'll get healing. We also get free damage through Sweep. Yeah, I think the big difference maker between this run and yesterday's run is that today's run is going to have... Well, something, basically. It's gonna have a higher starting point. Because a lot of the... I guess a lot of the problem in yesterday's run was actually not anything other than Relentless. Relentless was killing me. So... First of all, one way to win Relentless is to have higher HP. Second of all, another way to win Relentless is to just stack Drain. I think in theory, if I stack Drain, this run will win. That's... I, I'm, this is me coming to a conclusion right now. I think Drain is the way. I'm Honestly, I'm down to play Channel Song here. I'm down to go for another buff on Cold Kalia. I don't know how good it'll be, but I'm down. Iron of the Sea. And I want... I want energy here. It's a Root Seed situation. Pardon me. Alright, let's go left. I want Magic Shop here. Mostly want to put some minus ones, but I also want to look for permafrost. No intrinsic. So we can go quick cold Kalia. So you can play two cold Kalias, and then actually you could just play Channel Song on like naturally. Hmm. This is going to be different. I, this is an interesting one now because I feel like whatever I do here is going to be a lot different from how I would normally play this round. This is I've been I really have been influenced by these older runs I've been watching. I wouldn't do stuff like this normally, but something like two Cold Kalias on separate floors just kind of going off. Sounds fine. Down to a Tethys, woo! Tethys has- I, I don't really blame Tethys. I mean, it's sort of like if I was losing a bunch with Reaper Prince because Reaper Prince is bad. We all know about Tethys. No one here is shocked that Tethys is having trouble, but it's not Tethys's fault. I guess is my feeling. I mean, it is. Tethys is completely useless at every one of these runs, but not giving Tethys the support she needs. So you could argue that it's not necessarily Tethys's fault. I would argue against you, of course, but in hypothetically, it's not really Tethys's fault because, well, you know, I'm not supporting Tethys. I'm not doing, but like. I don't know, I've been given multi-strike in an early shot multiple times now, and I'm like, oh yeah, I just take the multi-strike. I don't care about this armor. I'm just going to ice tornado this enemy when the 9-2s are off the floor. So, um, so you can play around Conduit Tethys and have it be fine, but I have been given better units to start. Like, I've been given sweepers to start, or I've been given, I mean, we tried to, like, we tried to play that run around Conduit Tethys, actually, and then, uh, one run was just throw Tethys away. Oops, I don't have enough for Chase Seraph. I made a slight error. It's All of these are like one choice away from a win, I think. Honestly. I just want to pick Crystal Eyed Seeds, but nah. These aren't good. I was like, maybe maybe I go Preserve Thorns. Maybe I go Restoring Retreat, actually. Hmm. I want some form of healing. 
And the ability to descend a cold Kalia, but I'd have to take space anyway. I'm just not gonna pick it on principle, but that might be wrong. We can go trinket shop. The five health per turn would be really good. Refracting lens of this kind of whatever. Let's check the caverns first. No more melting umbra. Give me trample stone. Too bad. Uh, I'll go forever to the soon. That card's usually good. You get a majority of runs you play. Forever consumed is going to be at, on average fine. I'm down for channel song intrinsic here. We go all in, and then just take a quick look ahead. We take 15, 15, 10 to be there, or I could take 10, 10, 10, 10. But uh, no, I couldn't. These aren't good. I'll take another removal. Is Stuart. Part of me wants to just like cut every card out, or cut every steward out, and then try playing Channel Song, but I think it's bad. I go Armor 15 here. It doesn't bother me too much. It's gonna push the heavy over a threshold for sure, but I don't know if I care. Thinking about if I could kill Pethys on turn one for the value. I don't think I can. I can get a 25-28 Drain Steward though. This guy, you may laugh, but he is actually kind of useful. Never mind, he's dead. He was almost useful. He might actually be able to do something still. Now we want him. I, I was like, oh, I could save him. No, I don't want to feed a free harvest here. What we do is we just pull this overcharged tank to the front and frostbite him. He's, the tank is going to be very close to dying. We're high rolling on the infusion, basically. No enemy has been a bad infusion yet, which is very nice. And hopefully this trend continues. If I get an overcharged tank infused, I'm going to take a lot of damage, but we high rolled, which is great news. Overcharge or silent marksman infused, I don't care. Doesn't make a difference. Overcharged tank infused actually doesn't doesn't really make a difference now either, because we have enough damage on our sweep. I think. What is it? It's like 160 per round. It's honestly not a bad amount of damage. We have just r enough raw damage to be okay. I'm pretty sure anyway. Anyone? Also, shout out to Steel Enhancer for letting me not run out of HP here. Get up, buddy. We cycle the deck at a reasonable pace. I think I'm gonna take draw. You could take it. The, the thought here is I could take space and I could play a double setup with one middle floor. But if I'm gonna play a double setup, I can just play one bottom floor. So, I really feel like it doesn't matter too much outside of the, the, the heavies I have to watch for. But maybe I do grab a second one. So the second one does make a difference. Let's see what we see. I'll hold off. It's a it's a thought though. I don't want urchin spines. I don't have good enough spells for it. Focus growth I absolutely want. That is the optimal card. And I'm going magic shop. We're looking for permafrost. Horn melting stygian. I guess Hellhorn in a box. Ah, I think I take space. And then I could play the imps. I don't I don't want to play the imps. Never mind. That's almost always gonna be worthless. We take this money. We go here. The interesting thing about permafrost is that it's not necessarily important if I'm going for a second Cocalia, which I think I am going to do. But that's alright. Plus 20 consume that. No holdover. That's okay, I'm gonna go double stack drain then. And we're going to have enough card draw to draw drain multiple times. Hopefully enough with- and I- I have to look at the duplicates actually real quick before I forget. I have two. Okay, so I can go to this duplicate, this duplicate. I don't go to any more magic shops, but I can get a second drain. I'm gonna have to dig deep and think about this one, honestly. Play top four, don't do it to yourself. Another day against spell weakness, Tethos, though. Or 
spell shield Tethys, I should say. No, I'll just wait. There's no reason to play Ice Tornado here. I think we should do enough damage. Focus Growth, I think, is better because it draws me to... I care more about drawing cards right now because I want to play Drain a lot of times in this run. The game plan right now is to play Drain a lot. And so... I should focus on next turn draws so that I can throw a Sap 6 out. I am probably going to lose Ice Tornado, I don't care. It doesn't really matter, basically. 180 is the killer, but we actually have enough damage for it. And we can do a little here, here play. Look at that. Don't. There's no incants on the top floor. Well, okay, that's my fault. I didn't see this unit here. That's my bad. I think I actually just make up for it by throwing Forever Consumed at you. Would have been. I should have put Frostbite on the spell though. Frostbite actually matters a lot in this fight. Every little bit matters. I shouldn't act like it doesn't. I could have gotten away with 60 damage on this enemy, but that's okay. Keep the sap going. So we are net, we're net positive on sap. We draw sap more than once every six turns. So sap is our relentless plan. I just want to make it more consistent for the end game because in the end game I might need to sap other enemies than the boss. Which is why we're going to want multiple cards. Drain, by the way, I actually I feel like Drain might be one of my sleeper picks for really strong cards. I don't respect Drain in my mind, I don't feel like, but Drain is like, it's a game winner. It take, I've had a lot of losing runs fixed by Drain, I feel like. You add a holdover double you just add a double stack Drain actually into your run, and all of a sudden, your unit that was going to die in three turns hard wins. All of a sudden, Fell's at negative 36 plus 70, and Fell's at like negative 19 and isn't hitting you. Whereas before, I would get, because we'll get this without Drain, I would do 30, it would be 34, so I would go, you would go, I would go, you would go, I would go, you would kill me. I would get three hits, I would do 900 damage here without Drain. With Drain, this fight's not close. Drain changes the game for you. Very cool. I don't think I need a channel song. I already have one. Now, I said I think I want to take space, and then I went back to going to want to draw. The, sp the idea of space is space lets me play another called Kalia easily, but I don't... I don't think I need it. It lets me play it on the middle floor. I don't care. That's what I think. I think I don't care. I think it's actually better to play it on the bottom floor too, because on the middle floor it's going to take extra damage from the boss man. So I'm going to play a second Kalia, but I'm going to go over here. I'm going to... I'm going to cut the Frozen Lances out now. doesn't do anything because my turn one draw is bad. Uh, I guess I can take Kinstone Totem. I actually think it's worth less than the money though. And then I would pick... Yeah, plus 30 is probably the best hit. I'll put it on Ice Tornado and Ice Tornado has spared my wrath. I said we were going to do 10-10-10. We're actually going to do 15-15. Also 10-10-10. Uh, no, it had to be 10, 15, 15, right? Yeah, never mind. 10, 10, 10, 10 is not real. Okay. Onward. Real quick, I need to check if my friend has messaged me yet. She has not. I should not pick Heaven Seal here. It's a known issue. This first Pyre Wings will be infused. And that's 240 health. I can't tell you why it's always like this, but it's always like this. This unit is always infused. If I take the trial here, I have no out. I am just lost to this guy. So we're gonna put everything on the top four, Cold Kalia. He's gonna be our hero. Bottom four, Cold Kalia is just a nice little soften up the heavies plan. Hey, Tethys does something. You know what Tethys does here? He lets me kill this guy. I don't have to take Ember Drain now. Good job, Tethys. Yeah, the top four is gonna be our winner. And the bottom floor for Kaylee is just going to be knocking enough health off of the heavies for me to be okay. This one's a little frightening. 
I frozen lance the steel wing so I can get a raw attack on the pyre wings later. Or I could have just pulled them to the front. Great point. Very pertinent idea. How much damage are we doing right now? Uh, the real question is, how is this cold Kalia faring? And the answer is fine. In my mind, another one of those like mental barriers I have to break down is the ability to heal this unit. I I've actually been I've been re-going through the learning process in a video game. I've been playing World of Warcraft again. I have been trying. I I like to play. Uh, I play like high end or try to play high end Mythic Plus stuff, right? If you don't know what that means, basically I try to play the hardest dungeons. Uh, as best as I can and I back in like back in the last season I felt like I was pretty good I was like yo I'm kind of doing well here uh, nowadays not because I took like two years off I'm basically having to rewind the game and so I'm trying to uh, I I even in this right I, I think that I, I guess for first thought I think it's kind of arrogant of me to assume that I should know everything about Monster Train this is a very deep game and I shouldn't just know everything like, it, it's fine to make mistakes, basically. And second of all... I think I just wait and try. And second of all, I might actually be dead here because this boss is scary and second both KO is a problem. Uh, hold on. I have to look. I have to draw Sap again, I think. So let's look for offering tokens. Give me a sec, I'll finish this thought. I think I'm okay because it's like 400 damage per round, but it's kind of scary. Make sure I'm full health. Basically, uh, I, going through the learning process and a lot of things lately, what I need to recognize is that it's okay for me to not know everything. Even in this game, even though I've played it for a really long time. I can still find things like, oh yeah, we could just play two cold Kalias. There are things that I'm wrong about. I don't need Unnamed Tome. This is where I think, I think that this is a run where Unnamed Tome as an extra draw just isn't worth it. Root Seeds is, or not Root Seeds, uh, and Snare is fine. We can go over here, we can Hellvent. I want a second drain, but before I do that, I should check for... What am I looking for here? Well, there's a chance that there's... A... Just checking if there's like a plus one size, or plus one spell upgrade slot, and then spell chain I would think about. I don't think I would play it, though. That would actually be awful. But it's worth thinking about. Just wanted to verify that there's no reason to walk into the steel shop. Hammered chest plates is 5 more HP. It is slight more value for our cold Kaleus, which is okay. I can also reroll. I don't know what I would look for, though. I guess a unit upgrade would be okay. If I buy the 205, I can buy a removal. Or I can reroll and look for something a little better. I just don't see 5 HP being all that worth it. A turn of rooted, and then I can still buy a removal, right? Yeah, I guess that's as good as it's gonna be. One turn of rooting the enemies on the floor below the pyre. How good is it really? I will see. I think it's alright. I think mostly it's gonna help me with the mini bosses, which I do need help with. So, 100 of 100, let's get it. I think this run should win. I don't, I, with 180 HP, I think that this run should have it in. And I could be channel songing Tethys here. The worst part about this, though, is that this has been really difficult and it's been a lot of work. And then tomorrow's run is going to be me trying to make a run where Tethys is the main plan. I'm going to try to build around Frostbite Tethys. I don't have an idea. I really don't have an idea. But don't waste my consumes here. Yeah, uh, real quick aside, the reason that this is good, high HP, what I came to the conclusion of here, basically, is if you have a unit like Cold Kalia, who has a really high base number, like a large stone and a big number from uh, the, the major stone, right? When you play that unit with Quick on a lower floor, it's going to take around 20 damage per turn max. It's not going to take the full damage. I don't have to think about this like she's going to take 300, 200, whatever. She's only going to take a little bit. So I only have to draw Focus Growth every couple of turns to be okay. Like, I throw a Focus Growth down, you're back to full HP. This is going to be true on the Divinity as well. I don't have to be as... Uh, certain of my survivability. The Divinity is going to offer, like, a decent amount of damage per turn. But not so much. It's a sad draw. 
I think that as much as I would like to, it is right to just take the two damage here and play out one of the only the one shard for receipts. Diligent Cyrus is really annoying. Handful. I knew this would happen eventually. We're going to eat I hate stealing hands, but we're gonna eat offering token. Discard flat breeze. Steel enhancer top floor. I want to play focus growth. It's better than the two root seeds. Actually, I can play it and the two root seeds. Yeah. It, theoretically, it would be good. Uh, basically, I guess more accurately, what I want to say is I play one root seeds. We play drain. It would be good to have this cold Kaylee on the bottom floor scaling, but I don't think it's right because I just want extra time to scale the top floor. Although, I guess I gotta watch out for this cold Kaylee robbing me of all my drain energy. Hmm. I gotta watch for that, actually. I think... Does she? If I end turn like this, I think it'll be fine. She should... That's that's actually important for this fight. It's, it doesn't matter for the Divinity, but for this fight, I need to make sure I don't take all of my... Uh, all of my... sap away from myself for the real one. Also, worth mentioning that this run would probably win without the second Cold Kalia, thanks to Root Split Mask, but picking Root Split Mask is the insulation against... Or picking second Cold Kalia is... I didn't hit something like Root Split Mask. Okay, she dies very well. Yeah, because 10 damage, she would kill this guy in two rounds, so she would only take... She would only take 10. I need to let her die. I think that that's right. It's also important for me to recognize, because I would lose without it. She did her job, she got us to a point where we one-shot all the 290s. It's an interesting one, it's very different than anything else that I've played in recent memory, I feel. I mean, I meant to consume the root there, because I don't want to draw that next turn. It's a really small thing, but it doesn't matter, basically. Yeah. Cool. I feel like I am on my game in this one. I'm playing playing smart. I'm recognizing the problems of yesterday's runs. This is this is three days of losing to bring myself to a Tethys win. You guys ready to watch the Tethys of Divinity gameplay? Here she goes. Prepare yourselves. Oh my god, oh my god, it's Tethys. Tethys gaming, what the fuck? This is enough to just wipe this floor, right? With quick? Wow, that's good. Wow, that's good. That's really good. Okay. I should offering token? Yeah, in case I draw something. I'm basically putting one useless card in my deck and then getting one turn closer to drawing a better card. I should draw a better card slightly faster now. I'm worried about the spikes wave coming at me here. I could have pulled you to the front. I think that the spike harvest is going to be rough. If I t if I had picked uh, Silence Tome, it would be for this wave. But you know, she does 53 damage to all, so it's a net negative for the enemies, which is good enough for me. I'm going to go Razor Sharp Edge. Good, good job making both Razor Sharps free. I think you can actually, hang on, if I remember correctly, you do this and it saves you a bunch of damage because the, for, the future spikes don't proc. And I think this bottom floor called Kalia is worth trying to keep alive. I'm gonna have so much sap on the divinity it's not gonna matter, so we can throw sap on the bottom floor to try to keep this called Kalia standing. And yeah, she loves to do another focus growth now, which is great. Kalia up. And I shouldn't have trouble killing chains thanks to Root Split Mess. Just keep an eye up here, make sure I don't run my top floor Cold Kalia out of HP on accident. You do it forever, consume. Great job, buddy. That's my boy. Yeah, okay, stealth is gonna kill you. It's okay, we did what we could. There's no guarantee that this is the stealth wave. You can't know what wave this is. She did her best. Sadly, she has died. But she did everything she needed to do. Second Cold Kalia has done all we needed of her. And now we're in the clear. Cool. No bad drain rolls, by the way. Very, very lucky. I feel like this old the Extreme Stone Ice Tornado. I, I don't know about you guys. I, this is an open question for you, the viewer. I'm, I kind of think that... I think that Ice Tornado might suck. 
I feel like every time I pick it, I just don't play it. I'm starting to think Ice Tornado might be terrible. Like, I pick it, I upgrade it, and then I go, yeah, I don't feel like I want to play this here. If I can root the Steel Slate, he won't be a problem. We go Razor Sharp. The other play there is to forever consume him, but if I root him, I should draw it again before he's on top four. The risk is that if I don't draw root in the next two turns, the Steel Slate stays on the bottom four and is annoying, but... Or not stays on bottom four, sorry. He walks up to top four. Yeah, see that we said 12 damage. Because the first round goes, but she doesn't get hit by these spikes. I want to make sure that's what's actually happening here. One sec. So, the expected outcome here is she strikes, takes three... Why is she taking five? What? How? How does she take five? So, uh, let me let me look. Let me just see what happens. What? Oh! Got it. Got it. The front line, the tank enemy has two spikes on him baseline. Okay. It does make sense now. I got it. I drew ensnare, right? Yeah. Don't forget to ensnare that guy. Because by ensnaring him twice, he doesn't enter relentless with me. Yeah. Uh, negative. Yeah, it's fine. We're, we're good. Good run. I feel like this is a run that Tethys can really be proud of. I mean, it'd be nice to play... Rather, I guess what I should say is, I think we can all come to the agreement that... For the Pethys days, we're just gonna, you know, we're just gonna get there. I, we're, we're just gonna get there. <laughs> Conduit Tethys is, you can play a run with Conduit Tethys, let me put it like this. Conduit Tethys is probably the most random of the champion paths that I will play, because Conduit Tethys, you need to find an incant unit, build your run around that incant unit, and also you need to then take like double draw and you have to play some form of a plan that can save Tethys on turn one. So you have to find intrinsic plus a healing card or like a health increase card or intrinsic plus a days card. And I feel like if I play another run of Conduit Tethys where I skip a winning line like this, I skip the sweeper. And I walk into the Divinity without an Intrinsic because I missed, or I walk into the Divinity without a Multi-Strike. I'm just going to be so mad at myself that it's just not worth the risk, you know? So, I'm happy with this run. I think it's fine. Tethys is not good. This is... If you're, if you're here for the all-champion thoughts about Tethys, Tethys fucking sucks, dude. Tethys is probably the bottom one champion. There are worse paths, like there are worse individual paths than Tethys, but Tethys is not good. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave me a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.